Welcome to the Cali High Podcast. I'm your host, Chen Zonica, and I've been a cannabis connoisseur for 50 years. 50 years. Today, we will talk about all things cannabis as they relate to California and beyond, from the history of buds in the state to laws that govern its use, how notable personalities of the industry and related arts, including music, shape the industry. We will bring you reports from dispensaries, cultivators, medical patients, and recreational users. Hi folks, this is your host, Chenzo Nico, and I'm here with Joe the Sound Guy, as always. The Sound Guy. Welcome to episode 13. This is our lucky episode, folks. This week we check back in with Santa Cruz County Farms' Jules Wisner, and we talk about how it is on the farm with the coronavirus. We talk about... Yeah, growing growing the coronavirus is very tricky. No, he's not growing the coronavirus. Oh, it sounds like you were growing the... <laughs> Sorry. No, we're just checking, you know, how is the farm affected in the age of coronavirus? Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, I remember. We talk about his yeah. strains that he's growing now. Right. And other strains. Yeah. And we talk about his growing medium. We and talked a lot of dirt. We talked a lot of dirt and... I didn't talk. So, you guys talk what, a lot. There. So, you want to hear some dirt, folks? Yeah. Listen to this. Not only that, we have a very special segment. This segment is called the episode of Seven Reefers, oh. where Joe and I do a cannabis tasting. Oh yeah. That, that's. <laughs> I, I have a vague <laughs> memory of that. Well, seven. Yeah, and it was like first we were like, okay, well, let's take two hits per reefer, and then and then after the third reefer, it was down to one. But then we kept forgetting to take only one, and then we had to do a blind taste test afterwards. So, and you'll have to see at the end of the episode how we did on that blind taste test. Yeah, blind taste test. Spit it out. I'm Spit so out. fucking blind taste test. <laughs> we're gonna get some blind people here and have them taste. Yeah. No. Uh, so, shall we listen to? Uh, so let's let's check back in with Jules Weisner of Santa Cruz Cannabis kind of Farms, and then we'll get to our little cannabis chasing afterwards. Today, Cali High is checking back in with Santa Cruz Cannabis kind of Farms to see how things are on the farm. Hi, Jules. How are you? Doing great. How are you doing? Excellent. So, how are things on the farm in this era of the coronavirus? So, you know, for us. We're lucky to have cannabis have been classified as essential during these crazy times. Absolutely. You know, who would have thought we went from illegal to essential in three years? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's pretty wild. Um, you know, and we're, operations are still going as usual while practicing social distancing, cleanliness, and wearing the proper PPE. You know, and it's, it's almost weirder for us when we leave and go back to society from the farm and everything's all wacky out there, you know. Yeah, a lot more possibility for exposure and whatnot. Yeah, I saw you had a glove yeah. on while you were opening that envelope. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> try, and, try and keep everything clean and, and yeah. proper. <laughs> yeah, That's a great thing. Yeah. So how is the farm? What strains so, are you growing nowadays? So we just pulled down a big grow of our strawberry bananas, which you got to see. Um, you know, and you came out in the off season, so you saw kind of our winter, springtime buds. Mm -hmm. uh, really excited for you guys to come back and see us in the full swing of summer. So, yeah, huge growth strawberry bananas. Really excited to get that back into jars and out to the public. But we also have in the next grow coming down, we have two new proprietary strains that we're really, really excited to get out. We've been, you know, doing a lot of R&D testing on them for a while mm -hmm. and uh, have them in full production now. One of those is called Lemon Zest. Super citrusy. Uh, it's a cross between sour tangerine and lemon tree. Oh, yeah. Really, I, really I smelled that. that. You had a winter version of that. Yeah, yeah. You saw some of the R&D stuff. And mm -hmm. so we're now putting it into full, full production, full beds of it going. Really excited about that. Another one is our Z banana. So very similar to our strawberry bananas, but minus the strawberry. Mm -hmm. Just banana to the fullest. Very potent. Kind of like a banana kush. We'll be releasing more of the genetics behind that as time comes. Wow. 
Can't wait to try it. Yeah, and also not proprietary, but we have a great cut of some SFBOG, which I think we talked about last time, Mm -hmm. um, that's going into full production. In our R&D test, even in the off-season, we saw it testing as high as 32% THC and 40% total cannabinoids. So really, really excited about that. Oh, Um, wow. The strain GMO is is really, you know, hype right now. And GMO is a cross of the SFVOG and Kimdog. We were growing Kimdog for a really long time, and it was, you know, worked really well for us. Yeah, I like Kimdog. We're to be growing the other half. Yeah, we we loved our Kimdog. We heard really great. uh, Especially the original Kimdog. Oh, yeah. Yeah, such a, I mean, it's Kemi, Gassy, and, you know, and when you, these crosses that they're doing, and they cross with SFVOG, it's like heavy, garlicky, savory. It's kind of interesting when you start blending different stuff, you know, and different terpenes together, they create whole new smells, you know. Yeah, whole Um, new dimensions. Yeah, 100%. So we're really excited about those. And, you know, doing some more R&D stuff on some exotics and stuff that we're trying out from uh, some of our friends. That's excellent. How is the... uh the Jurassic, what was the, the strain called? Jurassic what? Yeah, the Jurassic Park. So the Jurassic Park was a cross of Big Sur Holyweed and Forbidden Fruit. So dating the Big Sur Holyweed dates back to the 70s. Uh, Steve Salyer from Salyer Genetics mm-hmm. is our master grower, and he uh, has deep connections to the growers in Big Sur and um, you know, actually has some of their original haze from Warren Hayes from the 70s with signed posters and the cards that he used to put in the packs, the seed packs and stuff, you know, and so we're still trying to just get it for ready for production. You know, we love mm-hmm. the smell, but the structure just isn't there yet because Big Sur Holy Weed is kind of like a legacy strain. It wasn't, you know, it's not as contemporary as some of the strawberry bananas. Yeah, yeah. So we're still working in R&D to get that structure up, get the THC up, and then get it ready for, you know, today's market where, you know, people are demanding a little bit higher THC. Yeah. Well, I think I told you I grew some Big Sur Holy Wheat about 36 years ago down here. And yeah, it was no, just that's awesome, man. Amazing. So speaking of down here, how would somebody down in Southern California get a hold of Santa Cruz County Farms Buds? Oh, well, most definitely. So we started pretty grassroots, kind of started in Santa Cruz, right at the Monterey Bay and a little bit in the Bay Area, San Francisco, Oakland. Um, but we've actually started breaking into uh, Southern California, which we're really excited about. We actually have a store locator on our website, mm-hmm. uh, Um where you can find, you know, I'll update that regularly, and you'll be able to find wherever's closest to you. But a couple places that I would refer off there, Highway Delivery is a great option to get products in LA, OC, and IE. Uh-huh. Uh, but some other places we love down there, it'd be West Coast Smokes, awesome. Hi Kai is awesome, Planet Buzz, Ganja Goddess, Euphora, and Leaf and Lion are some of my favorite ones down there. Um, but, you know, we'll be expanding and hopefully, in, you know, many more than that as time goes. And, you know, it's just check back on the website yeah, and uh, check our store locator. I'll definitely look it up, but uh, I need to get my hands on some of that new strawberry banana. Ooh. Most definitely. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, if you check on the Instagram, I'll post updates of everything we're harvesting, and you can just you'll see. I think on the story today, I post some good stuff of the last grow they're trimming, and then also some videos of what we're chopping today, and you'll be able to see the massive difference because we grow with you know minimal input, and we turn our supplementals off, which when we flip the flower, um, we're at the whim of the sun, and you know this is our time to shine. Uh huh. Yeah, sun-grown organic buds. Speaking yeah. of organic buds, you know, it's planting season down here, and, you know, it seems to be the craze for everybody to get all these different nutrients for different times of the pro- growing process. And when I was up there, you, you enlightened me into your just soil, and then and your soil yeah. is, is you get your soil from a, a soil farm. And yeah. So, yeah. and then you only do like one organic fertilizing towards buds. Is that how it goes? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So I can speak a little bit more to that. Um, you know, we can't share too much of the secret sauce. Right. But, you know, like you said, we grow with very minimal input. Um, our custom blended soil takes us all the way through our vegetative cycle. 
and then when we flip to flour, we turn off our supplemental lights. And, you know, we're not using big Govitas and big halogen bulbs. We just have little LEDs to keep everything in veg. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and we turn those off when we flip to flour. And then within that next week, we'll do a top dressing with worm castings and some other secret stuff that we put over and put a little bit of soil over that, water it in. And then over the next eight to nine weeks that everything's flowering, you know, it's activating the living soil, getting all the microbes going, and it's pure just water and sun after that. Um, So we're very much about minimal input, kind of just let the plants do what they want to do. You know, we see a lot of people that overfeed and under-nurture, where, you know, we're kind of the opposite, where we over-nurture, and, you know, I wouldn't say we underfeed, but less feed. Yeah. Um, And... We take care of the soil, and then the soil takes care of our plants. You know, we do our proper pruning and all the stuff we need to do and just making sure they're healthy. But, you know, we're all minimal input, and it's been really cool talking to other growers about, you know, their philosophies on feeding and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, Our first year, we used commercial cannabis feeds, you know, salt, liquid salt and stuff. Yeah. You know, we quickly made the decision that that just wasn't going to be the way to go. They're expensive and just so much snake oil out there and you just it's hard to know what's quality and what's not and we got linked with some pretty awesome organic farmers out in Watsonville and created a plan with them and uh you know haven't looked back since excellent well I'm going to try that on my own crop this year uh even though I don't have the secret sauce I can you know I've got what do I have fish emulsion I'm going to use kelp and I have uh, molasses definitely you know so yeah yeah and it, well we can talk off the record a yeah. little bit more <laughs> i'll call <laughs> you back after we'll the you show a couple little tips. Yeah. <laughs> excellent bro so well I, yeah i just we just wanted to check in with you guys and we haven't forgotten you we're going to try to get up there during the summer and uh we really yeah, want to thank no, you very no, much you guys again yeah well yeah of course no it's great to hear from you i'm happy you guys are rolling i'm loving all the content you guys are putting out I'm really excited for everything coming well, thank you, bro. I really uh, appreciated our little trip up to Santa Cruz. That was the last trip before uh, we went phone interviews only. Do, yeah, you know. seriously. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it all kind of hit the fan after that. Yep, <laughs> sure did. So, well, thanks, Jules. Um, and have a great week and growing season. And I'll see yeah, you thank soon. You. you too. Say hi to you Daniel and your dad. You. I will. Okay, we'll talk awesome. to you soon, bro. Thanks, man. All righty. Have a great day. Bye-bye. The episode of the Seven Reefers. It's the episode of the Seven Reefers. The episode of the Seven Reefers. The episode of the Seven Reefers. The episode of the Seven Reefers show. Hello, I'm Abe Lincoln, and I endorse this announcement. And I'm Chenzo Nika. And where the hell is Joe the sound guy? Yeah, he couldn't make it today. Okay, whoops, there goes my phone, but we don't need that. We decided to come outside into the smoking section to do this reefer survey. Mm Mm-hmm. Actually, we're going to review several different buds from different companies. We have the Cure Company here, the Cure Company here, Tire Fire. We're gonna, fire, fire. We got one of those guys. We have the 3C uh, Crystal Skull OG. This is an LA company for uh-huh. sure. We got actually three of their stuff. Okay. Mm-hmm. And we have LA Cannabis Fire OG. Always a great staple. We have the 3C Club 33 OG, the 3C Illuminati OG. I wonder how different those are. And last but not least, the Wonder Brett Orange Sunset, right? Oh, it's in an orange box. Orange too. box. Orange Sunset, I like that. <sighs> and uh, okay, so Here, you can look. see we're wearing our mask. Come we on. were not exactly six feet apart, but we haven't been six feet apart for all of these episodes that we've had to do. And we've seen nobody else. We haven't seen our wives. We no. haven't seen our girlfriends. Don't tell my wife I have a girl. No, just joking. His girlfriend, my wife. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we just hang out here. So we we go nowhere. So, you know, don't worry about us. We have been washing 
everything that comes into the house, folks, okay? Yeah. And we're being safe right now by wearing these masks. Right. Yep. So. No way we can catch the virus now. Nope, not nope. us. Not us. Not us, but because you know what? Better than trying to shoot up some Drano, just smoke some weed, you'll be immune, okay? No, not really, but. <laughs> it's true, I did that last night. I better, really regretted it Better than what Trump suggests, anyway, okay. No. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's try the, uh, the orange sunset first. Orange sunset. Orange sunset, and it's 26.59% uh, THC, hmm. um, and uh, total cannabinoids, 31.77. So this is pretty strong here, I think. Hmm. Let's try it out, so let's Shall see. Shall we? We shall. Okay, let me just find it here. We have a few reefers that we're gonna test out. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay. We have an opera happening next door, in case you were wondering what that singing was all about. It's very groovy, actually. Actually, that singing should start after we take the first hit. Like, mm -hmm. oh! oh, that was good! Okay, all right. Okay, ready? I'm ready. I guess you need a lighter. I need a lighter. This guy always steals my lighter. I steal everyone's lighter. I don't know what, they just end up in my pocket. It's not a conscious thing, I just like. He's one of those guys. You, you, got, you know one of those guys? Always takes your lighter. It's like comes over and then, you know, when he leaves, it's like, okay. I usually, my lighter? Mm, mm, tasty. I usually call people back to tell them I took their lighter and I'll return it when I see them next. Oh. Dude, you're gonna have to take that. Okay. I'm glad we're being safe about this. I'm glad we're being safe about it too, bro. As we already explained, we've taken precautions. Okay? Don't try this at home, folks. The orange sunset. Orange sunset. Almost. It does have a citrusy, a citrusy taste. Yeah, it does have a citrusy taste. Hence the orange, oops, sorry. Since, hence the orange taste. All right, should we take like two hits of each one? Yeah, yeah. Okay, two hits. Because one is just not enough. Right. And you know what? The funny thing is, the puff, puff, pass thing, <laughs> it used to be just puff, pass when I was younger because there wasn't that much weed and <laughs> everybody had to have a hit, right? So we're not giving people two hits before we pass it around. But in this day of, like, legal weed, okay. Watch this. I tried doing that and it didn't come out. Did it come out? No, it was filtered by my kerchief. Okay. Watch. Your kerchief? Gesundheit. All right, two hits. You, you had three hits, sir. He's listening to Carmen by Bizet. Yes. Okay, okay, let's put that out. Yeah, we'll put that there. Okay, we'll leave it right there. Okay, so that it's was nice. In the pre-smoked section. Let's... Smell the buds and see if we can describe the fragrance. Oh, it smells like OG dipped in oranges. La, la, yeah, la, yeah. La. It, if, if Tang made an OG. Yeah, Tang. It tang. smells like Tang, right? It smells like yeah. Tang. Tang OG. Fuck. It's the OG How do they get the that astronaut taste? smoke. Yeah. Okay. Well, that was tasty. Four score. And seven years ago. And seven years ago, I Our went to the theater and forth. saw a movie. On this continent. Ah, there is no movie at nation. this time. Shoot me now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let us now, uh, yes. let's try the, let's try one of these three C's. You, you know, Waylon Broussard is the, uh, the guy down at 3C. And we were going to go down and we were going to meet with him and we were going to have a little bit of an episode down at 3C. But something happened that day and we ended up just having uh, some noodles in Little Tokyo. Yeah. But here we are with his buds and we're going to sample them right now and we're going to tell you how they are. So let's start off with the Crystal Skull OG. Crystal Skull. Crystal Skull OG by the 3C company. Um, and this is a total of 27.3% cannabinoids, and THC is 25. No, no, 20. You know, and also I should say, doesn't. After say. those those two hits, 
Mm -hmm. I'm really not feeling too much of a kick of anything. No. You know, it, it's almost just uh, It's a yeah, pleasant buzz. Yeah, so what? It, it, you know, it's a pleasant okay. thing, but it's well, not one of those... We don't want to give them a bad like, rap. It's very uh, tasty and smelly. Okay, I think I'm done. But I like the wonder... I mean, the, what, you got some buds that smell like tang? Let's see them, okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Better yet, let's smell them. Yeah, sure. All right, so yeah, all right. So what are we doing now? Oh, the We're going to do the Crystal Skull OG by 3C Farms. Crystal Here, skull. why don't you light it up, bro? Oh. I lit the last one. All right, you lit the last one. La, 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 la. No, sorry. Okay. Oh. Oh. How is that? You know, I actually went to see Bizet's oh. Carmen at the Hollywood Bowl. That yep. was absolutely was fantastic. Was Carmen there? She was there. This is definitely a more of a a kick to it. Uh, it, it feels thicker. Am I right? I'm yeah, not. it's an OG for sure. Um, we're on what? What OG is this? This is the. Three C crystal skulls. Yeah, like the orange sunset, it, it went down smooth. Uh, <coughs> this one, I almost felt like I was going to cough a little bit. It felt a little, little intense. And don't worry, folks. If we cough, it's only because we're smoking weed. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> see, like he, he can't. Have it. I, see, I smoke, I smoke cigarettes too. So you know, I, I'm in training constantly. <coughs> hey, Anlit had a call in for only members today. I didn't get it till late, the message till late. <coughs> didn't call in. Oh, well. <clears throat> well, that one's definitely OG-like. Yeah, this is. Yeah, that one's a, a strong one. Okay, stronger than the Wonder Brett. The what? Well, the company is called Wonder Brett, but it's the Orange Sunshine. Oh. Maybe, if you were taking Orange Sunshine, you might want to have some Orange Sunset to go along with it. Mm. But I don't recommend that. Okay, referring back to episode, what was it? Six, seven, I can't remember. They all run together. All right, let's move away from Crystal Skull and... Four score and two reefers ago. <laughs> Joe the sound guy brought forth on this balcony. Well, actually, we're on the patio, right? Yeah. yeah. A new reefer. Yeah. A new reefer. Conceived in liberty. And let's... But, but all uh, buds are not created equal. No, they I'm are not. Sorry to say that. Okay. Don't shoot me. What were we smoking here? That was the crystal... Oh, no, you know what? We accidentally lit the tire fire. Okay, whoa. <laughs> sorry. Are we spaced or what? That is tire fire? That was tire fire. So everything we said about the crystal skull... skull is not true. No. No, it was tire fire. Tire fire by the Cure Company. And boys don't cry, and we're not going to cry about our little mistake. No, it was good. It was okay. Good to, it was good to know. Speaking of the Cure Company, this was pretty Did we good. have two hits? Did we? Let's have another one. I don't remember. Short-term thing. But at least we can remember these slight soliloquies for longer. To smoke or not to smoke with Joe? That is the question. Whether it is nobler in the buzz to suffer the slings and arrows of, I don't know, okay, sorry. All right, let's try. Next. Let us try now, since we gave a false start on the Crystal Skull OG, let's try this Crystal Skull OG. The actual the Crystal Skull. The actual skull. Crystal Skull OG. Okay, I'll light this one since you lit the last one. Okay, there's the lighter right there. Lighter that might slip into my pocket <coughs> at any moment, folks. How many are, of these are we going to try? Seven. It's only a total the, of the fourteen. The seventh hits. one is going to be really good. No, I'll yeah. tell you that much. <laughs> no matter what. Mm, this is really nice too. Too bad we don't have any ginger or something to like. To clean the palate. I was thinking about that. I was going to stop the sushi bar. Oh well. Oh well. But. Whoa. That one tastes good too, right? It's got more of a kick of a. So this is the 3C Crystal Skull. Where is it? <coughs> Here it is. Mm. We're smoking the Crystal Skull now. <coughs> I think rehab is in my near future. Seriously. Weed rehab, bro? Come on. Yeah, I know. This is a is professional hazard. You is know what I'm saying? 
You want it's another an essential. Hit of the crystal skull? This is pretty good. Yeah. <coughs> I said it's a little harsher than the others. Mm -hmm. A little harsher, but wow. And there you go. Was that like a smoke ring? That you, uh, you didn't know I'm a wizard? <coughs> yeah, you, you wizard over in my bushes <laughs> over there. Well, dude, come on. Just, uh, uh, so anyway, back. I got it. This is, I have to yeah. go back to the tire fire because we didn't bother to tell what the percentages was were on the tire fire and let's look at the box the box says percentage of thc is 28.37 that's pretty high total what thca 31.15 well that's interesting okay tire fire has both thc and thca mm -hmm. okay okay we smoked out two a few it was hits a long ago. Time ago. Yeah, yeah, a long time ago. It's like getting, but that was excellent. Okay, so we, we found out that the 3CG Crystal Skull OG is very tasty. It's a little a, bit dry. A little dry. But, uh, yeah, a little dry, but it's got a kick to it, that's a for sure. A big kick to it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if that was because it was the third, third uh, reefer we've done. Or uh, uh, but no, it, 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 yeah, it, did. it definitely It's definitely different. strong too. Uh, it kicks. Oh, definitely. yeah. We're going to start babbling any second now if we already haven't. I, we're already babbling. Okay, so I think it's time to smoke something of a rarity here. Today we have a sample of LA Cannabis's Blue Dream. Now, their Blue Dream was probably better than any Blue Dream I've ever smoked. However, they've put it off to the side so they can grow gelato, fire OG, wedding cake. So the Blue Dream has been taken off the shelves, but... We got the last of it just to smoke and to remind LA Cannabis, if they needed reminding, that mm. their Blue Dream is fantastic. Yeah, very good. Right? And by the way, all of the samples today come from LA Cannabis, courtesy of Armin. We want to thank him. That Thanks, was Armin. really more than uh, cool. Uh, okay. Was he wearing a mask when you saw him? He, he was. Yeah, okay. he, he was like, hey, you should get like one of these N95 masks. Anybody wearing gloves? And I'm wearing these. And Everybody was wearing gloves. Really? Yeah, no, down at the frickin' LA Cannabis, strict rules. Like, only a certain amount of people go into the showroom at a time. Everybody's spaced out in the lobby. You know, everybody has to come in with a mask. The, the guard will not let them in without a mask. Mm. And so there we go. Can I make a suggestion? You may. Just one hit of each. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna finish it. Okay, we're gonna do one hit from now on. Where is the Blue Dream for this it? Now that's the fire. 33. Here it is, Blue Dream. Okay, so 23.01% THC. All right, Platinum Blue Dream. Not just any Blue Dream. Platinum. Platinum. Dude, I actually lit this up. It was your turn. It's okay. Joe here has a preference for Blue Dream, don't you, Joe? Uh, yes. <coughs> oh, stand by. And while he's taking a hit, let me just take this moment to bring you a little... No, not really. One day we will be sponsored. You could be the lucky ones. Yes. Sponsor uh, us, please. Yeah. Send money. Not guns. No, or lawyers. Yes, just money. Oh, that's... Lawyers? That's good. That, that's a good take. This one here, the Blue yeah, Dream. I told you, this dream. is my favorite okay. Blue Dream of all time. And you know, Blue Dream reminds me of Gold Columbia. Yeah, and this is kind of a cry. It, it has a little harshness to it. It's a been little. sitting in a freaking sample jar for a long time. Right, but but still, the kick. It's kind of a combination of the two. Well, Blue Dream is, it, by nature, it's kind of dry, you know. In we the we were going to do one hit each. Right? Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, <coughs> I forgot. Sorry, Short term memory <laughs> again. Okay. We have three more to go. Here. Okay, here we go. So, <laughs> let's do. The 33 OG from 3C. Now, we're a little 3C heavy today, and even though Waylon never showed up at our interview, we're going to forgive him and smoke these and enjoy them. Okay, Club 33 OG. Okay. And has a total of 22.76 total cannabinoids. Ooh. All right, so your turn to light it up, bro. Okay, thank you. Okay. 3C Club 33 
OG. Three C Club Thirty Three OG. I remember hey, that. You know what? That was in the seventies, right? Dude, that song? is there anybody that deserves the title of OG more than we do? We are the, probably, but I mean the original OG. We are the OG, as far as you know. Mm -hmm. Should I have more Mine humility? Mine is old grandpa. Old grandpa Abe. Uh, the uh, filter is pulling out of this one. Oh well, I know. I rolled it a little bit loose. I'm sorry. He rolled all of them. Just so that it would be a scientific yeah, thing. Yeah, we it's had to like keep them all the same, system. you know, diameter of the actual cylinder to give them the same and amount of fire. This is the what? This is the Club 33 OG by 3C Farms. They're an LA company. Good one, too. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it is good. Flavorful? Not dry. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's a. It's kind of an immediate. Yeah, it's a punch. It's, it's a punch. A, it's, 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 a, it's a forehead warmth. Either that or it's the fifth yes. fucking reefer. Eesh, eesh. No, no, What no. kind of science is this? You could be... No, one hit okay, was that's right. Mine. Okay. Just so right. we can get to the end of the show. And then we'll have to zoom in on the ashtray and look at that. All right. Yeah. Okay. We're going to stick with 3C Farms and try their Illuminati OG. Illuminati. Illuminati OG. Here is the actual jar. It's, uh, it's for when you you're feeling Illuminati. Naughty dread. So here we go. Is you, it my you, turn to light it? Yeah. Okay. One. one hit, I think, is the, the prescription from here on out. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Or we will die. Oh, you can't die from weed. Nobody's I ever OD'd no, from weed. I heard somebody at. The LBCA today say you had to, like, you had, it was like 40,000 reefers within an hour would, it is considered illegal. Oh, you they know. finally figured it out. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, and but, they, I, who's, the, who's the poor guy that died that way? I told him I chewed up a half ounce Probably of, a of black Colombian once, but oh my God, I was high for four days. I don't recommend it, folks. I had never eaten in any cannabis at all. That was my first edibles experience. I just chewed up a half ounce of buds. And they were strong. My eyes were swollen shut for four days. I had to be led around. Illuminati. Yeah. That's, the Illuminati is good, right? Yeah, it's good. How is it different it, it, from the, uh, from the Club it's 33? Dry. It's dry. It's a little drier, right? It's It also has a little bit less THC. Um, although, hmm. it's hard That's to tell. We, we don't have the dates of when these were actually brought into. This. And we really but don't know how the, scientific this is. But we don't. We're having a great time. But we are having a great time, and we're trying to bring you information. Yes. And hopefully you're having as much fun as we are. Okay, it's your turn. Now, with the last one we've saved. This is the last one. This is the L.A. Cannabis Help me. Fire OG. <laughs> right? L.A. Cannabis Fire OG. You know, see my hat there? Yeah. I got a hat. I stole a hat from Armin last time we were there. <laughs> you okay. did not Your stole turn. it. Not really. You did not stole it. Okay. Oh, that's this one of my favorite places to hang out. This is our last one. And this is what? This is the Fire OG. Fire LA Cannabis' o signature OG. Oh, yeah. I remember this one. Okay. <clears throat> what we need to do after this is a blind, a blind taste, taste test. Taste test, yeah. Yeah, we, we just we fucking should, light we up. We'll just yeah, grab something it. out of the the uh, ashtray mm -hmm. and light it up, and then we'll see if we can guess without yeah, looking at the actual little writing on the filter. But you must be honest, Abe. Okay. You must. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Gee. that is very good. Not too dry. Those good smoke rings. That's always a good sign. Yeah. No, I've, I've done it. That's it. Okay, this is strong too. Uh, okay, shall we show them what we're seeing? <laughs> yeah, we should. This is, this is. There's the ashtray, folks. <laughs> but this sure has been a weird thing. Yes. I have never, I have never done anything like this before. I, we, we, maybe we should get KCRW to sponsor us. I am wearing a t-shirt, right? You are? Yeah, remember we did a few shows over there. You're wearing... Oh, dude, we're going to have to blur They don't remember out. us anymore, bro. They haven't... Yes. I know, well, we haven't yeah, done much. I know. 
But you'd think they'd whip out the old album and yeah. play it once in a while. Yeah, let the kids have their day. Yeah. yeah, indeed. And so, Cali High has been honored to have smoked so many great samples of herb. And once again, we thank Ellie Cannabis. Armin, thanks a lot, buddy. Thanks, dude. Um, and what was your favorite, Joe? I'm going to have to say it's between the fire, what was it, fire mm -hmm. OG? Yeah, fire OG. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know, I may have to go back again. Uh -huh. uh, actually, okay. Well, the fire. Let's do the blind taste test. Okay, the blind taste test. All right, so All don't, right. don't look. All right. Don't look. I'm going to pick one. And don't look at the ashtray because you may have memorized where you put them in case you were going to be tested like this. Well, let me just say this while well, without looking that the, uh, the fire OG from LA Cannabis was 28.93% total cannabinoids. THC was 24.97, and the CBD is zero. Okay, all right, let's, let's wrap this right. up. Get, get to this, okay, this bro. taste test. Here you go. Ready? Don't yeah. look at it. I'm not going to look at it. Okay. And be honest. All right. This is the Blue Dream. Okay. It was Blue Dream. Look at that. BD. Mm -hmm. Yep. Blue Dream, very good. But well, that's probably the most distinctive of all the tastes that we have here, except for the uh, okay. the tangerine one. Test me, pick one. The tangy. Okay, I'm going to pick one for you. Ready? Okay, I memorized where they were. So. Did you? Well, I might just have to move them around. Don't look. I'm not looking. Don't look. Okay, light it up. Okay. Tell me what it is. Orange sunset. Yep. Elbow. Seriously? Yeah. Way to go. I'm turning this guy into a connoisseur Orange. if he already wasn't one. How do you know that's one? Wonder Brett. Wonder Brett. Orange sunset. Wonder Brett. Okay, it has a W. Honestly. Honestly. I think, I think we did it. We did it, bro. We better not do it again. We better not because, do it again because you know. we're going to be too high if we yeah. have to do a like, blind taste test. However, so back to the favorites. You, do you know the uh, You know what? The I think fire I'm going to have to change my vote to the orange uh, sunset because that was, it was very identifiable. Uh, and yet it, it wasn't had, that strong, but at least we didn't come on right it away. It had a taste to it. it yeah, yeah. The, the but it's 26.59% THC. It's like a citrusy aftertaste. It does. It's very pleasant to smoke. But I bet this would be great for daytime. Okay, so we got another phone call? We have another phone call, so we're going to have to we wear, say wear goodbye on this little segment here. We wear a mask. All right. Seven Reefers. Seven Reefers. Thanks for listening to episode 13, folks. We want to thank Jules Weisner of Santa Cruz Canna Farms and Armin Peronian of LA Cannabis for providing our samples today for the episode of Seven Reefers. It's a scientific study, actually. Yes, indeed. I found it very educational. Well, at least pseudo-scientific. I understood everything that was going on until the seventh one. And then, what about the blind test? Well, I guess, yeah, that's true. I, yeah, and you actually we, passed the blind test. We came through. We, yeah, we did. I did too. So, let's pat ourselves on the back. Seven rivers. Well. Okay, so stay I, tuned for episode 14. We may have an amazing guest. And we're going to keep it on the low, low, low right now. And your guest is as good as mine. That's right. Because it's our guest. Stay safe, everyone. Be blessed. Know the person you're passing it to. Know where they've been. It would be great if we all had tests, I suppose. Contract tracing. Until they have the test, I'm still studying. I'll take a pass or a fail. <laughs>